Hi, it's the Star Trek experiment for May 22nd, and we're at T minus two. Uh, Doc Piper says that I am fit for launch, so I'm excited about that. We got a lot of stuff going on, and uh, today I, I just want to talk about certain things that uh, Star Trek is not, um, and that I want to avoid. You know, it's just full of cliches, uh, not Star Trek itself, but the love of it. And, uh, you know, the wacky uniforms and everybody running around doing this and, uh, uh, you know, just a, a lot of fanball goofery that I, I have very little interest in at this point in my life. What is interesting to me are the ideas uh, in Star Trek. And, you know, people give lip service to that, but I don't know if they really, really, really get into it. And, you know, I was kind of a Roddenberry child and, uh, and you know, I know that uh, it can be claimed that Gene did not necessarily live up to his own talk. You know, that he said, oh, it's a peacekeeping exploratory organization with uniforms and sidearms and photon torpedoes and they're, they're always firing on other ships and so on and so forth. Um, so, you know, okay, you kind of look through your bad eye and you go like this. But I, I like what he had to say. I like the fact that he had to say that we could get better as a species. You get other writers and they say, no, that's not going to happen. We're always going to be the same. Well, I think that's a bunch of bull. You know, you got the Straczynskis out there, pardon me, but you do. Um, was, oh yeah, there's gonna be certain human truths and all that. Well, you know what? For a long time, a certain human truth was slavery, but we got rid of it. Sexism, but we got rid of it. Racism, we got rid of it. So, um, can we get rid of a lot of the other stuff? Yes. Now, are we completely rid of those things? No, but we are well on our way. And certainly the civilized world acknowledges them as wrong. But if you had gone to the civilized world of Rome, which thought it was the epitome of civilization, all of those things were groovy. So, uh, and I will make an objective judgment and say, yeah, we're better. So, to be able to make it into outer space, to, to have the judgment to deal with other planets fairly, I think uh, we will have to continue to evolve. Uh, morally and ethically in terms of our wisdom and Roddenberry believed that and I know the he told the writers uh, especially of next generation no they can never disagree well I don't think that's true I mean they have disagreements uh, you know in terms of matters of taste in terms of matters of music um, well, I don't hear a lot about it but basically they're all gonna agree on certain things well, guess what? Next generation writers, A, do what they did on DS9, and I realize that you're basically the same group, uh, which is have the aliens represent those who disagree. But also, you know, you get a group of civilized humans together now, and they're not going to disagree on matters of sexism. They're not going to disagree on matters of racism. They're not going to disagree on matters of slavery the necessity of literacy, things like that, they're gonna agree. So, uh, you know, similarly on Next Generation, they're gonna agree about these things. Beyond warp engines, beyond phasers, beyond people with bumps on their heads, that, that is the exciting special effect for me with Star Trek. And that's what's so cool to see people get excited about. I, mean, I got books like Star Trek Lives and Meaning of Star Trek, things published in the 70s when, when people were truly inspired by what this show represented. I don't think you're going to find people doing that, forgive me, with Fringe. I don't think you're going to find people whose lives were literally turned around. People who were shut-ins completely all sorts of psychological, physical issues, ashamed of themselves, saying, oh, thank goodness for
for Babylon 5, or, or thank goodness for Lost, I, I, or, or God forbid that new Battlestar Galactica. Uh, now, should every show do those things? No, of course not. But Star Trek did. And I think that's great. That's, that's what I'm really enjoying uh, when I anticipate a project ahead. <laughs>